Welcome back to Rachel Be the Healthy We. Today I'm going to show you two different beach designs staying with our summer series of nails. One is going to be just all out beach. The other one's going to be a really fun but a little bit more subtle way to do it. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see here, I started with a custom decal. I'm not going to show you how to do that because we've done that before. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get our sand on. And with that, you go ahead and you use your top coat, just like you're sugaring. You go ahead and do the end. Then you're going to sprinkle some sand. Now I would use crafting sand that's already been sifted through. It's super fine. I didn't have any. I had some from the chicken, so we're going to go with it. Then after we do that and we lightly tap the edges, we're going to go ahead and cure that. So let's get that cured. Once that's cured, we're going to bring it back out. And now, now we're going to move on to the foam and our little sparkle here. So I'm going to grab my gel polish for the sparkle. Just going to lightly dab at it because we're trying to kind of make it blend in. So we're going to kind of pounce. This is a really fun way to customize one of the um, decals is to use it as a guide and then do some fun stuff over top of it. So I'm going to offload the brush a little bit more and hit it again to just kind of take even more. There's that. And now we're going to take our white polish. We're going to paint that where we want it. Which of course, according to the picture, is like right along here. And then using a little glass that has soap and water in it, I'm going to just agitate it to create bubbles. Little finite butt bowls is really what you're looking for. So if you get some cute little. Okay, once we've agitated it, we're going to grab some of these bubbles and we're going to lay them right on top of our gel polish. Okay, nicely covered. And then we're going to go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. Okay, once that's cured, we're going to pull it out. Let me pull this one off. And we're going to use a little bit of alcohol to rub off the, not only the soap, but the little dispersion layer like so. And so you have foamy bubbles. So now this is up to you. If you want to seal it, maybe with a little bit of a matte top coat on the sand is what I'm thinking. You could also use glitter. If you wanted to, totally up to you. You could also mat out the whole nail. So how about we do that with this one tonight? So I didn't do it with the others, so we can just kind of see what it looks like. So we'll mat out the whole nail. Once we've got that on, we're going to grab our rhinestone glue and our cute little application brush. Grab a little dab, and I think we're going to put something right, right there. And then I think I'm going to do a shell right in my little dab. And then again, we're going to cure for 60 seconds, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, all cured, and so that you guys can see the difference between um, glossy and or if you mat down the whole nail so you can decide which one you like better but that's like an all out let's go beach crazy um, and here the beach sea and fun are just some self-adhesive gold stickers that I happen to have and I thought I'd throw them in there but as you can see if you want to mat it or leave it um, high gloss really cute and this is 
Just so you know, anytime you want to do this with any of the custom decals, you can paint on them. You can use glitter or the bubble effect or all kinds of other effects on top of to enhance them if you're not fabulous with freehand art. So there's that set and let's move on to the next. This is a much simpler set, something that just gives a little nod to the beautiful beach. So here we have a matted down uh, base, kind of fleshy tone, just a basic color. It's one that I like because it looks good with my skin tone, as you, as you can see here. I matted that down, and then I went ahead and using my trusty plastic paper, and I've talked about how to make custom decals with that before, I went ahead and made just a strip of colorful, pretty, kind of looks like the water fun. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this nail out so we can get it done. And this is the same thing. You can cut little swirls out of this if you want to, or, and so I'm gonna do a kind of a kitty corner. We're gonna diagonal. This is foil glue so that we can make sure that that sticks really well. We're gonna go ahead and use a gel foil glue. So we're gonna cure this for 30 seconds and then bring it out and add this on. All right, so the other thing that we're gonna utilize is we're gonna use a sparkly blue gel because we're gonna give it a pretty little gelled end. And then of course, we are going to glossy top coat the top but leave the base as a matte nude. Kind of gives a really pretty effect. And we might even add on our two kind of, if you call them, you know, accent fingers, we're gonna add a few our little accent pieces like some shells and so on. So here I'm just going to kind of line it up where I want it. I'm going to rub it on and then I'm going to pull it off the stand because it's a little bit easier for me to do this off the stand. And then I'm simply going to take my nail file and file that. File the end. And of course we'll file. There we go. All right. Now, get it back on the stand for you guys. We're going to offload our brush a little bit because we don't need a ton. And you could also use a liner brush if you wanted a really thin line, but I kind of went over both. So and we're going to simply do a straight intersecting line there. And then we'll cure that. And while that's curing, so I'm going to use this nail and then the nail that's curing as my accent nails. And this time maybe we'll use some little gold pieces and I just flung one on the floor. We'll have to find that later. So let's go ahead and same thing using our rhinestone glue. We need a tiny little bit. Doing two little dots. And we're going to grab two of these wee bitty little guys. Oh, I didn't get them in the... And then, of course, hopefully better than me, you're going to actually put them on the gel. And then here. There we go. That time I got it. It's kind of cute. And now that this one has come out, we're going to go ahead and top coat that. And again, because we want to... Keep the rest of it matte, we're only top coating the portion that has the sticker on it. Then we're going to cure that, and then let's grab a seashell or two for the next one, and the little dot. Alright, so we'll put a little doll up there, a little doll up there. And instead of the starfish, let's go ahead and do some shells this time. So I'm grab a shell, put it right in my dollop. I 
I actually think I could do a third one in there. That'd still look cute. Let's get another. And there we go. Now we're going to go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. I'll show you when it's done. All right. So there's that set all done. Now you could do bling all over all of them. You could do rhinestones. You could also just do swirls of the color and not the full tops. You could also do the whole thing in a gloss and not matte and gloss combined. But this is just kind of a fun nod to the beach without going crazy. You also don't have to do the cute, you know, glitter at the bottom. It's really up to you. So there are our two beach themed nail sets. And with these, we went through several different techniques from using the soapy water to do a foam effect. We did a little bit of sugaring. We added rhinestones. We used custom decals and we even did our own make your own decals like I've shown you guys before using the fun sheet and regular old plain nail polish. So I hope you find something in here that you can use to make something fun and beautiful this summer. And maybe you'll try some of these beach nails. Thank you so much for watching and continue to keep with us for this summer series as hopefully we'll have something that you'll like to incorporate into your next nail art set.